We already learned how to create a functional pillow for back sleepers in case one. In this case, John is a side sleeper. All of John's information is the same, except his sleep preference will be nine because he mostly sleeps on his side. We'll determine his pillow size through the initial data analysis. This is John's new pillow size. His neck insert height is two inches, the length is 3.25 inches, and the color is green. His head insert is 1.5 inches high and the color is yellow. Place the neck insert in the same position as case one. We'll begin by placing the head insert three inches away from the neck insert. First, have John lay on his side so that his pelvic and shoulders are perpendicular to the treatment table. Then, have John pull his shoulder back so that his upper trunk is about 45 to 60 degrees from the table. Then we'll ask John how he feels. Next, ask John to gently lift his head and move the head insert closer to the neck insert. Have John rest his head and ask him how the pillow feels. Side sleepers generally prefer the head insert to be closer to the neck insert. Try about one to two times and attach the head insert in the position that John felt was most comfortable. John is mostly a side sleeper, so we adjusted the functional pillow to help him sleep more comfortably on his side. However, we'll encourage John to slowly change his sleeping posture to his back as much as he can until his next follow-up appointment, because cervical degeneration mostly occurs from the front to back of the cervical spine rather than from the side to side. After teaching John how to use the functional pillow the same way as case one, we'll schedule a follow-up appointment. Follow-up appointments will be scheduled in three to four weeks because it is hard to maximize his neck function at this time. During his follow-up appointment, we'll ask John about his sleeping posture. If John tries to sleep on his back more, then adjust the head insert about an inch away from the original position so that he can receive more neck support. However, if John is still having a hard time changing his sleeping posture, then keep the head insert position the same and encourage him to change his sleeping posture to his back until the next follow-up appointment. John may find it more comfortable to sleep on his side, but in order to help him maximize his neck function, it's important that John sleeps on his back because sleeping on his back allows his neck curvature to receive proper support. Schedule two to three follow-up appointments as needed so that as he changes his sleeping posture to his back, we can adjust the head insert further away to give him maximum neck support. Lastly, we'll remind John that if he feels uncomfortable with his functional pillow, he can come back to the clinic and we can use the feedback data analysis to adjust and or modify the inserts as necessary. For more detailed instructions on how to use a feedback data analysis, watch the feedback data analysis video.